Yeah, so the Aditya L1 uh, mission is going to be launched on 2nd of September at 11.50 a.m. from Sriharikota. And this is going to be launched on the PSLV C-57 launcher. Now, this uh, mission is, the total weight is uh, not as much as Chandrayaan-3, so it's smaller. And uh, so it can be launched by PSLV uh, launch vehicle. Now, this launch vehicle will be the, orb the, the kind of orbit it will take the, will be similar, the route it takes will be similar. Once it is launched, it will go on a circular orbit first, and then it will uh, slingshot and make it into an elliptical orbit. And after four such uh, orbit uh, um, uh, enhancements, it will go on to a cruise phase. So the L1 uh, point is at 1.5 million kilometers away, so it will take uh, about uh, 100 to 120 days to reach the point. So uh, that, is, uh, that is what the whole mission is about. And then after reaching the L1 uh, Lagrange point, it will be on a halo orbit and start the instruments start functioning from there. Yeah, yeah. So the Aditya L1, the whole weight of the payload is not that much. So here in the case of Chandrayaan-3, you need a lot of propulsion and things like that, and also lander weight, uh, etc. is there. So the total weight of the entire payloads and uh, onboard in, uh, uh, spacecraft requirements, everything is coming to be less than 1,500 kg. So the liftoff is good enough with PSLV. So now we have land, uh, soft landed on the moon, so we have a foot on the moon. Now we are trying to uh, see whether uh, how to study the sun. So the important thing is we are living with a star, and the star uh, actually has a lot of features which still we do not understand. For example, we know that the nuclear uh, fusion is going on inside the sun, and that is how the sun is generating energy. And it, uh, it, uh, the, the sun is uh, giving us uh, 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 light and heat from there. The surface of the, the sun is at uh, 5,000 to 6,000 degree, but the corona of the sun is a million degree Kelvin. Not only that, sun also burps, giving out a large amount of plasma, which actually uh, affects the space weather and also the charged particles in the uh, uh, in the outer uh, part of the uh, solar system. So the space weather studies are also important. So the seven payloads on the Aditya L1 will be doing two kinds of uh, experiments. One is the uh, remote sensing, like look at the sun and collect the radiation and study. And a few of them will be actually measuring the particles present at that particular uh, point and also the magnetic field. See, PSLV is a uh, trusted workhorse of ISRO and it's going to be used now uh, in the launching of Aditya L1. Aditya L1 has to uh, find its place eventually at a point called L1 it, or Lagrange uh, 1, uh, which is a point uh, between the Earth's sun line uh, in the direction of the sun about 15 lakh kilometers from the Earth. So that's where uh, the Earth and Sun's gravity uh, balance each other and around is a point which is not a mass but just a point, uh, Aditya L1 is going to be in our, in our orbit and will be facing the Sun all the time and then give, uh, take observations and pass them on to uh, ground stations of ISRO. But uh, apart from this, uh, uh, PSLV rocket has been used uh, for most of the uh, launches by ISRO. It is a trusted uh, workhorse as they call it and uh, its design goes back to 1968 when uh, Incospar uh, was wanting to develop its own uh, satellite launch vehicle. So there were six designs ready and Dr. Vikram Sarabhai uh, liked the uh, th uh, design number three which was called SLV-3. So uh, Dr. Abdul Kalam uh, was roped in to develop it further and uh, that's how uh, SLV-3 uh, came into being and then it, it was used for launching uh, Rohini satellites in space but SLV-3 had a limitation of uh, payload mass of around 40 to 50 kg. Uh, further development eventually, uh, first it became augmented uh, satellite launch vehicle, after that it became polar satellite launch vehicle and its uh, uh, carrying capacity, rather uh, payload bearing capacity was increased. Now PSLV can take about 3200 kg in low earth orbit and about 1400 kg in, uh, in uh, geostationary uh, orbits.
what are the features of a PSLV server? PSLV has got boosters and solid boosters and there is a, uh, a solid engine and, uh, and, and liquid engine. It, uh, in, in the matter of uh, GSLV Mark III, there is a cryogenic engine also. So uh, that basic difference of cryogenic engine is there between GSLV and, and uh, PSLV. Why PSLV choice uh, Aditya L1 launching mission? Sir? It doesn't uh, possibly requires uh, such a uh, uh, such a uh, powerful uh, launch vehicle. So that's how it is. Okay. Ahead of the launch of Aditya L1, the solar-bound spacecraft, the ISRO Indian Space Agency took to Twitter to share exclusive images from the launch pad of Sri Arikota. Now, this exclusive image is comprised of the uh, spacecraft uh, PSLV C57, which, which will carry the Aditya. L1 spacecraft to the Earth and the Sun uh, helio orbit which will be placed there. So these are the exclusive visuals uh, coming in from the ISRO Indian Space Agency ahead of the launch on the September 2nd. On September 2nd from Sri Arikota, Aditya L1 spacecraft in the Indian spacecraft will be launched into the Earth and the Sun orbit where this particular spacecraft uh, will be uh, set in and fixed at a position. Now if you take a look at the whole mechanism in the space there, the uh, spacecraft Aditya L1 which will be placed between the Earth and the Sun, uh, and the Sun will be fixed in a, a particular position and will be balanced by the attraction and repulsion between the Earth and the Sun system. Now this particular space observatory which will be placed between the Earth and the Sun will be carried by this PSLV 57, C57. So that's the exclusive images coming in from the ISRO which has took to Twitter to share these exclusive visuals ahead of the launch of the Aditya L1 on September 2nd.